On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the Christmas presents that subscribers sent over to the channel. If you want to see what they are, stick around after this. What's going on everybody? My name is Kevin Vidinia and welcome to my channel Super Power Review. We have a little fun video for you guys today. I'm going to be showing off some of the items that subscribers or good friends of mine sent over to the channel. By the way, I hope everybody had a fantastic holiday and I hope Santa brought all the things that you put on your wish list. At any point in time, if you guys like anything that you see in this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel to show your future support, and let me know in the comment section what your favorite thing that you saw in this video. So, uh, let's get started for today's video here. Uh, one of the first things I want to show off that I got for Christmas is this beautiful sweatshirt right here. <laughs> so, uh, I want to thank my sister-in-law for making this for me for Christmas. She was super, super quick to fetch the logo uh, and put it on a sweatshirt. As you guys know that the channel just recently got a brand spanking new logo. We got a brand new open for the channel. So like I said, she was insanely quick to put this on a sweatshirt. So if anybody would like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, uh, you can let me know by messaging me on Instagram at KarateKevin67 and uh, you can pre-order one there and we can uh, get that going. Uh, so we got some comic books here. We got some, we got a figure here. I'm going to start off small and then we're going to work our way up. So one of the packages that I received was from a good friend, Joseph Reed. Joseph Reed is also known as Old Man Venom on Instagram and you can follow him there. And I will leave a link to his Instagram in the video's description down below. And he also has a YouTube channel called The Sim be elite where I make guest appearances there as well. So uh, he sent in a really nice care package here. I'm going to show off some of the things. Uh, like I said, we'll start off small. One of the things that was in the package was a Marvel Comics Venom rookie card. I don't know if you can get that. So this uh, officially goes onto my nerd shelf where it gets displayed. It also has like some of these uh, stats on the back of it where he first appeared. It says right here, everybody. 298, all right, not 300, <laughs> just saying. Uh, so, you know, it says like how many times he's, he's uh, won in a fight, how many times he's lost, his win percentage, his name, all that stuff. So, pretty cool. If CGC ever decides to start grading these cards, I think I would really, really love to send this in, actually. I know they're only doing like magic cards and Pokemon cards, but if they ever expand their horizons and start doing Marvel cards, I will definitely do that. And some of the comic books that he sent in this package were absolutely amazing as well. Uh, here we have a Uncanny Origins featuring Venom. Uh, I believe this is also Uncanny Origins number seven. Really awesome book. So uh, this just pretty much retells ASM 300 a little bit. I won't say it's a reprint, but they definitely uh, use a lot of the same lines. Uh, the artists use a lot of the same uh, panel artwork that Todd McFarlane does. Like it's, it's pretty much an homage to his artwork. So it tells a lot of the origin story. It gives a little bit of, you know, new story to his origin as well. A little bit behind the scenes of things that you didn't see in ASM 300. Again, a fantastic, fantastic read. If you're a huge Venom fan like I am, uh, you definitely need to add this one to your collection. The only thing I would have to say about this book, uh, the story was fantastic, but the artwork is a little too, mm, a little too cartoonish for me. Um, it kind of reminds me of like uh, Archie's comics artwork a little bit. So if like they had like a different artist for this book, I think I think this book would be like a 10 out of 10. Uh, but it's still really not far away from a 10. I would I would definitely give it an eight. It was a awesome, awesome read and I had to slap it right in my lar. These comic books, you know, I, I've never came across one in, in the wild. I think they're, they're they are actually a little bit rare so again if you find one i think they go for about 10 to 12 dollars on ebay maybe even 15 if it's like really really near mint a 9.8 candidate but like i said if uh if you love anything venom i would definitely pick this one up great great read fantastic read i read it like at one o'clock in the morning i was like that was amazing <laughs> another uh book that was featured in this package 
or that was in this package was this awesome, awesome variant cover. Um, there were so many times when I was unboxing this package that I was gasping like, <gasps> <gasps> and my wife had to come in the room like, is everything okay, are you all right? I'm like, yes, this is just so many, so many amazing things here. So uh, we have a Web of Venom Cult of Carnage the Gabriel Delato variant. Oh my goodness, will you take a look at this beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, when this book came out, my comic shop did have the Virgin variant of it. I thought this cover is legitimate fire. <laughs> and um, I just, I love the whole, um, I don't know, the, uh, the classic horror like movie poster that Gabriel Delato puts in his covers. I think it's really cool. Uh, but I've really wanted this cover for a really, really long time. Slept on it, never got a raw copy. I had a few chances to buy a, you know, a, a slabbed one that was signed with a yellow label, but never did it. But uh, really, really excited to have this one. This one, like, made me gasp the longest, <laughs> the hardest out of the whole package. I was like, man, like, I looked at it for, like, a good 10 minutes before I started looking at anything else. And uh, so the last thing that was in the package from my good friend Joseph Reed was this Venom issue number two. This is the variant cover, and this is uh, done by John Boy Myers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, awesome, awesome cover, and I believe this is um, this was a local comic shop exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. I uh, really love the greens in here. Uh, John Boy Myers is a, is a fantastic variant cover artist. I really like a lot of his artwork. It sort of has like a graffiti flair to it. Um, you know, it's, it's very poppy. So really, really cool. Love the green highlights on Venom here. Awesome. Love it. Yeah, right, right there. John Boy Myers. I was, I was not crazy. His signature is right there. So really, really cool. Uh, is, is anybody reading the new Venom series? Let me know what your thoughts of it are in the comments section if you're reading that. So that's everything that I got from Joseph Reed. We'll do a really quick recap. We have Venom issue number two, the variant cover by John Boy Myers. We have Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage number one, the Gabriel Delato variant. And we also have Uncanny Origins number seven featuring Venom and we have a Venom rookie card. Very cool, all right? And so the last package, and the funny thing is too, right? Uh, these packages all came in the same day. Um, so the next one comes from my good friend, Jason Parker from Jason Parker Comics, all the way from England. Man, this is a beast. It's hefty. <laughs> I uh, was getting ready for work for one morning, was l walking out the door, there was a package there, and I was like, man, like, I've never woken up to a package, so I, I brought it in, unboxed it. it. Was a package from my friend Jason Parker Comics. You know, a nice, a nice little note saying "Merry Christmas, buddy. I appreciate your friendship." So in the box was this Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn figure made by McFarland Toys, and I absolutely love this figure. If you guys are familiar with the channel. I did a review on, on this statue here, and uh, if you wanna watch that review, you can uh, click on a link in the video's description down below and check that out. I would gladly appreciate it. The reason why this is so perfect that you bought me one of these is because I already had planned on buying another one, and because my wife, who occasionally touches my statues, don't touch my statues if you're watching Wifey. Um, she was one time dusting the room and she dropped my spawn figure and ever since then he's had a little blemish on like the, whites, uh, the white part of his eyes. And ever since then that has been driving me crazy so I've been thinking about buying another one. But now that I have two, I don't know if I want to sell my older one and unbox this one or I keep my unboxed one, keep this one in the box, and then save it for whenever I have an opportunity to have Todd McFarlane sign it. I think that would be really, really cool. Have him sign like right about here with the grain paint marker. I already have a Spawn figure signed by Todd McFarlane uh, from, the, from the MK series. I'll show a picture right now of that, what that looks like. But uh, I think that would be really, really cool. So let me know in the comments section, what should I do? Should I keep it in the box? You know, save it for a Todd McFarlane signature, or should I sell my old one with the blemish and have this one out of the box? Let me know. What, what's, what's, the best, what's the best option? What do you think? So guys, that is everything that I got for Christmas from my great friends Joseph Reed and Jason Parker. Guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys went in this video's description down below, clicked on those links, 
Give them a subscribe, give them a follow, spread that love like they did for me. I hope you guys have a happy holiday. Make sure you guys stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.